What's up, Mose Tube? I got a video here on a 2000 F-150 four-wheel drive. It is uh, the 5.4 liter engine. You can see here I was deciding to replace this intake manifold plastic. It's got the aluminum crossover from one point to the other, or from one cylinder head to the other. And um, my problem was, is I was having uh, coolant fill up in cylinder number one, five, and four. And um, I had to put a stop to it. So uh, the repair for this is the uh, replacement of the intake. And I'm going to show you here what I had found when I was working on it. Now at uh, first glance, um, the uh, gasket here that was sitting on the passenger side, and you can see here, we'll go back up to the top of the engine and I'll show you how these line up. And that one all the way back there. So you can see at the very top of this, all that corrosion or oil from the valve covers leaking uh, just building up over time and uh, some of the um, gasket itself is flattened and on the bottom side you can see some of it's kind of raised uh, some of the debris is uh, from sitting here on the driveway this one I didn't really find any impressions on there uh, any kind of like really bad areas except for this right here this little lip um, but when I went to the, uh, intake, I was able to look over it just at first glance. You don't really notice any major damages at a closer look. You're able to see right down in here. Look at that. It's a big crack. And then some of the plastic itself is falling off or that could even be a gasket, but, uh, Right here is where the damage is, and that caused the leak. I didn't really find anything on this. There was no breaks. There were no cracks. Um, but either way, I did end up finding a bunch of spiders. I hate spiders. Um, now i got to put this uh, new one in. I got a new one sitting in the box. I ordered it off of eBay. 100 bucks. It was shipped. And it looked to be all intact. The job itself uh, with draining the coolant, refilling, and pulling this alternator. You have to get the alternator out your way. Uh, if you do not, you're going to be struggling for a while until you realize that you have to go ahead and remove it just to get the intake in and out. So um, I went through, cleaned the uh, faces of the uh, cylinder heads. Uh, I did not go into the ports uh, for that. I was gonna go ahead and loosen it up maybe with a wire brush and my vacuum cleaner. I got the uh, six and a half horse and um, get all the big chunks. Anything that's big enough to come off with a wire brush, I'll let the uh, in, the uh, vacuum suck it up. Anything uh, further that's uh, just like a, a film, um, I will use uh, sea foam on the intake or the throttle body and uh, spray it on in there and it will uh, remove whatever surfaces. Um, uh, varnish or oils that are on there uh, thanks for watching this is uh, roughly about a three-hour job